Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Loop Hero. So I've done some grinding. So let's put some stuff down, huh? The Crypt, placed near the cemetery, final resting place of an ancient hero. Both magic and the unstable state of the world have taken a toll. Maybe its history will awaken qualities in you. Unlocks Necromancer. Oh, you're interested too, no? Not everybody appreciates. Not everyone understands. The people, uh... The people can serve you not just with their voices, but with their bows, swords, bows. They're not evil if you're afraid. I'll need to raise my hand and... Wait, I've never done anything like this before. If I uh, remember correctly, craft teaches itself. Often through books or words. But it taught you through walls and stone, unusual. Good news. Come with a list of things we need. Can't say they're all absolutely necessary, but they'd make our lives easier. We can't keep eating dirt while sitting on dirt, and then go to sleep on the same, you know, dirt. There's something inherently dirty about it, you see. Something inherently dirty about it. It might be the dirt. I'm exaggerating, just want you to get the idea. If you stumble on a good piece of furniture or tool or anything else to use, remember where you found it, and it can't be a horse carriage there, or make sure you're finding so to the people who need it the most. Supply, huh? Whoa. Skinner's knife. 10% chance to receive rations after killing a rat wolf. Miner's pick. One more preserved pebble while going through the campfire. Kitchen knife. Interesting. So I'm going to go quickly on these, because uh, the thief has their own little sprite here, their own little adventure, and they have a mechanic that when, as this bag is filling up, they can put different stuff in. Also they have, behind my head here, they have two knives, two weapons uh, that they have instead of you know, instead of a, a shield, which means that they lose out on a lot of defense. Oh, I'm gonna show this new thing as well. This thing, the Storm Temple, will strike various areas with lightning as you pass through. So this guy is at risk of being hit by lightning if you're on that square. So you see, as this thing is filling up, you're getting more and more better loot and gear and stuff. Also, I learned that you can literally just hold this button down. And head back quicker. Why not just put stuff down? If we're gonna, if we're gonna, you know, get out of here. Cause yeah, I don't, I don't like playing as this character, to be honest. I, I've tried this character. I've not tried the other one. Yeah, we got a pittance. And then there's the Necromancer. We also have Chapter 2, which I've never even tried. I don't even know how many chapters there are, but it looks like there's space for four? So maybe four. All right. We cannot wear armor. We can't use any of that, in fact. Well, great. Useful. Oh, I have a little guy. Okay, so I'm green now. My max skeletons are two. Interesting. So I'll make skeletons as I go, huh? So my new plan is I'm gonna put a whole bunch of villages stacked up behind the the camp. And then as I go through the through everything, it'll fill me up. And then I can hit the camp at almost full health. That's my hope at least. 
Summon quality goes up. Oh, I can actually put two on. And an amulet. This is new. I don't recognize having an amulet before. And I can't wear a helm either. Sometimes I kind of wonder why two rings is standardized. Like, I know that it's because you literally have two ring fingers, but I've got ten fingers, you know? This is a D&D &D item uh, that a, I guess a friend uh, told me about where you equip this little item uh, it's a necklace and the actual power of the necklace is that it allows you one more ring slot and the necklace is somebody's mummified hand and what you need to do is put an entire hand around your neck and then you can wear one more ring It's going well. So, yeah, as I've learned, I'm pretty sure that this takes effect like 100% of the time when you're fighting anything that's at 15%. I also learned that you can actually use this Oblivion card here to delete the grove that it's growing out of because this is a blood grove. Oh, these grimoires. 96. Hot ziggity. Uh, you can delete the grove, because this blood grove has to go on a grove. They're, like, symbiotic or something. And you can delete it and add it to... Or delete it, and then the grove has has nothing. Like, it's not growing out of anything, even though it should be. And this is technically bad. put it here but it's a thing where like antique shelf great better stuff better stuff but it's a it's a thing where like the the forest is even hungry because now it has nothing that it's growing on like it's not attached to anything, even though it should be. And because it isn't, that means that the forest is hungrier. Just get the hell out of here. starting to like adapt my strategy for placing these because if these aren't maxed out then I'm not getting all the potential I could from them ooh tier 4 damn that's great this is weird I look like a little goblin girl or something that's fine but not typically what I play as. Oh, it looks like I have like a regenerating shield as well. Yeah, I have a little honeycomb shield. Interesting. This is a strange character to be frank. Ooh. Bonus skeletons. That ought to help. Max skeletons. My max skeletons aren't going up. Did I already have two? Maybe I already had two on. That'd make the most sense. Or maybe there is like a straight maximum skeleton. <laughs> the phrase maximum skeleton just sounds funny. Alright. So if we put this here, then this will hit this chunk, this one, and this one. And then that'll help me kill all these fucking goblins. Okay. And then now my HP per day is 25. Cool. 
Oh, they die and they come back as fresh ones too. Yeah, that's a Claymore skeleton. And so is that one. Yeah, I haven't even been looking at it. That's cool. And that's like a thief skeleton. Interesting. What an interesting and unique character. And I've got a thing. Uh, residual heat. Each allied skeleton heals the hero for three times loop when it dies. Uh, and then some s a standard one. And then you get more magic shield for every summoned skeleton. Woof. Let's put that there. All right. Ooh, tier three. Oh, also, I'm pretty sure it goes gray, gray blue. Yeah, because these are flat. They just have one effect on them. And then blue has one the effect and something else. And then yellow has three effects. And then I think orange has four. So orange is the best one. I'm going to take it a pounding there. Yeah, I'm hovering around the 200s. Okay, luckily I am... Okay, I'm getting back up. That's fine. Let's put another Storm Temple down. So now, the places where this intersects here, those will cross over. Yeah. Okay, we're doing good. My health is going up too. Just had a little bit of the caught in the slip for a bit there while my magic shield was down. Yeah, there's a lot going on in this game. Like, I, I feel bad that I don't care about the other classes, but like, I just don't. I like playing as the warrior. This guy's cool and all, but like, I don't know. Give me a sword any day. Goblin camp, goblin camp. Let's do this goblin camp. So many wheat fields, guys. I can't do enough with these wheats. Can't abide by that. Skeleton level. Okay, now that I'm passing through everything, I'm getting a lot more done. Yeah, put up some more. Oh, that gives me my magic shield. Okay. And then my magic shield is actually 106, though. And we've gone through five loops. How many wheat fields can't do nothing with? Yeah, see, this is the problem. Huh. Damn, that sucks. Well, that's cool and all, but... All these little guys have a little feather in their cap. That's cute. I like that. Oh yeah, I have these now. These are just the things that um can proc. I don't know how to put them on or off though. Oh, these are cores here. I was hoping I would get to talk to somebody and see the guy's little sprite. But yeah, that's basically the Necromancer. Hey, all right, we're back. I just built a mud hut. Uh, we're one step closer from the humble camp at a proud village. To a proud village. Even though it's a hut half buried in mud. But we are honestly grateful. People are exhausted, body and mind. Some private space to call home will make anyone happier. Okay, that's all we can hack right now. We can do as many as we want, though. So it looks like it's like the farm. 
goodness. See, I've been, I've been doing some expeditions here. Temporary beacon. Each day passes 50%. Time watchers join battles in range. They're afraid of vampires. Also, ruins. Random basic resource spawns a scorch worm. I like that. Temporal beacon, not temporary, though. And we can burn... I kind of like burning beacon. Hmm. The blood grove is so fun, is the problem. And I don't want to get rid of village or weed fields, or grove or blood grove. And these are also all requisite. I guess we could get rid of a storm temple. Let's be brave and let's take obliv oblivion out. And now we give it a shot. Okay, ruins. Random basic research resource. So let's put that here. Ooh, makes a cool little corner. Very neat. Time watchers may join battles within range, but they don't fight vampires. So I've put some vampires like here. Fifty percent faster within its range. That's really good, in fact. A lot of Hmm. And then put vampire there. And then we can put some meadows down here. And they'll become flowering meadows. And then grove there, and then we can put the time thingy there. The the blood grove. <laughs> shouldn't take like a rock out. What are you? Scorchworm. Oh, living has a soul. Archer, retreat, archer and close. Game. Okay. And this spawns in the ruins. Swarm of bats. Anika. That's new. I've not played with the vampires for a bit, so that's new to me. Ringing in your ears debuff. 10% chance the hit won't happen. So the ruins are almost like they just give you loot. Which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. Seeing a lot of wheat fields here. I am seeing zero in the way of Oh man, a lot of scorch worms. So they're they're over there just making trouble for me. Interesting. Alright, so we've done a few runs. Uh so we can now supply people. So I can put this kitchen knife here. These are things that I've crafted or found. Uh, and these will all put, like, bonuses on me, I guess. So this is furniture. This is furniture. This is this. No, this is food. Sorry, I thought this was a table. Don't mind me. Uh, you can only have that many in. I don't need to worry about killing too many rat wolves. Well, that... I only have food in, so I don't really care about... I only have one piece of food in. Yeah. And that's only going to give me one more percent. One more percent, but 
one more percent base experience. That's not that great. So yeah, now I can have all that stuff. And then statistic wise, I've been playing for seven hours. Wow. Though I have like left it. Let's see if we can't build something first. We can do an intel center. All the information you find about monsters and resources unlocks desert and sand dunes and can add gold cards to the deck. Interesting. So here's what we know so far. The world consists of darkness and fragments of your memories, and it doesn't say the same for long. Nothing stable. But that's not completely true. There are some key memories that drastically change everything. And as we keep note of your expeditions, things are starting to form a bigger picture. Be easier if everything wasn't so shapeless. Remember, all knowledge is priceless, so share it with us. Together, we'll dec decide how to use it. Encyclopedia. Cemetery. Yep. Rat wolf. Ransacked village. Farmers couldn't fight off a hungry vampire. Whoa, what? Okay, blood path. So this is the thing that spawns next to battlefields eventually. Wheat fields. Oh, it adds per loop. I didn't know that. And then scorch worm. Bad wolf, spider, skeleton, chest, mimic, blood clot. Prime matter. What? A creature beyond all comprehension. Ghost of a ghost and ghost vampire oh you actually get little things to say mmm so in two they get that ability watcher goblin goblin leader harpy bandit ghoul gorgo flesh golem they all have lore too wow the bosses. Lich. Am I missing anything here? Whoa. Okay. Spider Cocoon. Goblin Camp. Blooming Meadow. Okay. Forest. 1% forest attack speed? Is that different from a grove? Lich's Palace, Temporal Beacon, Golden. We don't even know what those are. And then all of these. All of these. Sorry, I just really want to clear all these out. I don't want to have to look at them. Upgrade building. Whoa, cool. Congratulations, Zero. These new cauldrons will make life better not just for you, but for the whole camp. Celebrate, write down a new recipe. Grate four potatoes and half a block of cheese mixed together with pasta sour cream and bake for half an hour. Only fried eggs are tastier and easier than this. More healing potions. Buenos dias. It's much more room here now. To express my gratitude, I'll tell you a special healing recipe. 15 lemons, two spoonfuls of honey, three garlic cloves, and 10 years of wheat. Oh, a pot of water and let it brew. Best remedy for so joints. Well, give me that look. You'll thank me in 15 years or so. Interesting. I kind of wish that I could zoom in. Okay. Kind of annoying that these are always used on any craft. Yeah, because they're used in these as well. Oh, this forest. That's what they mean. They mean these little squares. And then we also have River Bridge Alchemist Tent. That makes sense. That ought to make it easier. Let's do that loop. Better, better. I like meta I like meta progression roguelikes like this. Like of course I do, because it means that I don't lose everything if I die. You know, not everything, everything. But like it's a thing of like I don't Like Sometimes when you, you're you're hitting that cycle with a roguelike, it's like, alright, send me in again. I just gotta do it again. I gotta I gotta do all of it all over again. I must. I just got it, you know? And you're like kind of starting to lose your mind. 
I had this idea to only build uh, rocks into the mountain. Because I think no matter what the mountain is comprised of, it'll always be a mountain. And then if I don't... Okay, so I want to put it... I know that that's not as useful as it could be, but I don't care. All right. So my plan seems to be working pretty well. My, my strat. I'm in a way where like, I don't know the, the strategies yet. I don't know what I should be doing in order to maximize my potential. More rocks. See, now they're giving me a mountain. And I could put it here to turn it all into the big mountain, but I won't. Not yet. I'll upgrade that into a blooming meadow in just a bit. I didn't mean to do it right afterwards, but it just so happened that that was what happened. Fine by me. Ooh, we got cheese. Okay. Boom. Boom. Yeah, I've also noticed that there's a little bar here. This is when the boss appears. Initially, I was trying to, like, cheese it and, like, literally count how many I need to do in order to get the boss to spawn. But, like, it's not that deep. It's way simpler. I wish Oblivion cards were a little more common. Cause I really just, I hate those guys. Tier four sword, great. I'd help me chew through this big guy's hell, huh? See, I got close on the last run. But I ultimately didn't, wasn't able to, like, get the boss to spawn. And so I didn't, or couldn't, like, even try finding it. But I really want to show that, so. Alright, so my last run ended in disaster, so let's give this thing a shot. The watchtower. Let's put it on the edge. That makes the most sense, right? You're cool! <laughs> I love the 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 arrow used as a, a, a thing to hold her scarf up. That's a nice structure right there. Sturdy, reliable, useful. I keep telling this to myself over and over. I even almost believe it now. My boys can already see quite far in this dark fog. They'll support new battle whenever a crossbow bolt can reach. The villains will sleep better at night. Guarantee their safety. Cool. What does that actually do for me? Desert. Oh, yeah. We haven't looked at desert yet. Lowers enemy HP. Hot damn. We can take that out. Um, ancestral Crypt and Arsenal. Additional equipment slot reduces... Ooh. Ooh, and these are dangerous. Oh, you can only have one of them as well. Well, interesting. Uh, we've learned a lot this episode. I'm going to give this one a shot. Uh, if I can manage to get to the boss of this zone, I'll, I'll see what I can do. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, I've been Alfred. This has been Loop Hero. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I'll see you guys later. Bye.